Okay, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. And it couldn't be Halloween without a Halloween project that I have for you. Um, I have been working on it a little here, a little there. And it all started in September, believe it or not, with the ATC MDC 2023 open collab that I did or challenge for myself. Um, wanting to build up some ATCs. Well, I did end up finding um, these cute, cute um, images from a Facebook group and it's called House of Cookie. And they were uh, gentleman skeletons that I featured in some of my ATCs. And I absolutely had so much fun with it that I kept creating ATCs for them and then did this. So first of all, I have to say I got this from uh, one of my travels and bins before I started sharing it with you. Sorry about the crinkles, but these are those name badge holders, right? Or name plate holders, or uh, you know, company IDs. They usually go on a lanyard, and it was a whole pack of them. I don't think there was quite fifty. Um. No, it doesn't say how many were in here, but I still have quite a lot, and I'll close that in a little bit. And I um, bought it, I think it was like 50 cents. I went on 50 cent day. But anyway, this is what I created, and I think it came out super cute with all the trims and ruffles and Halloween colors. So I have this rust, uh, like this uh, reddish brown. I have some eyelash trim. And that reddish brown I have some uh, cream color I have some black and I just tied it in a knot around some gold book rings and then I had some washi tape that I used throughout in the ribbon and this is what it looks like but look how cute and I added some shaker bits in here and some of that um, webbing that we get from Dollar Tree and the trim and then these are the foam flowers that were gifted to me by um, Isabel crafting with Isabel and I must have changed these flowers like four or five times first I made my own flowers then I did flowers with googly eyes and I didn't like it it didn't give me enough pop of color of dimension and then I remember the foam flowers and I went and I grabbed them and there it is and this was one of the ATCs I created. And then, of course, I backed it up on some black cardstock and it says evil. And then added some, some sprinkles and some um, orange um, drills. And all it is is featuring each of the, sorry about the shine, each of the ATCs that I did. I sealed it in here, made it like a little flip book. And then, of course, I added... Um, more washi on, on both sides and added some shaker bits and backed it up on some gold foiling because to me they look like portraits. Look how cute. I think it came out super cute and it's been sitting there um, in my Halloween decor. Maybe I'll insert a picture around here. I have a, a shelving unit on my wall that I decorate for Halloween. Oh, I decorate it now for every holiday, but I think they came out cute. Cute little flip book. And all with them, all of them were done in ATC size. Some of these I shared with you, some of them I did not. And then here is the back with some more shaker bits. But once I added everything in there, it started getting really um, chunky. So they're not shaking around as much as I would want them to be, but, and everything is sealed, so nothing is going to come out. And I think it came out adorable, isn't it cute? So that's my quick little happy Halloween share. I almost um, forgot to share him with you. Once I created him, I kind of put him up on the shelf and then um, forgot all about it. And then I look back at my videos and it's like, I didn't share this. So quick little Halloween video, guys. Be safe out there. Have a blast with your family. 
um, have a great time dressing up. As always, I'll catch you at the next one. Bye now.